Davson and Danielli had proposed a model of the cell membrane in which there was a phospholipid bilayer with globular proteins coating each surface. However, there were some problems with this model. First of all, it assumed that all membranes were identical, both in thickness and in the ratio of proteins to lipids. This was known to be false. Electron micrographs have shown that membranes in fact differ in their thickness, and they also differ in the ratio of proteins to phospholipids. In the davson danielli model, the amphipathic proteins also had their hydrophobic regions exposed to the water. The proteins being exposed to hydrophilic environments on all sides is not a stable configuration. Along the same lines, the hydrophilic portion of the phospholipids was separated from the water by the protein layer. Again, not a stable configuration. These inconsistencies led to Singer and Nicholson proposing in 1972 the currently accepted fluid mosaic model of the cell membrane. In this model, we notice that membrane regions differ in the protein configuration and concentration of proteins. There exists a wide variety of proteins, including integral proteins, peripheral proteins and channel proteins, all of which differ in size and shape. In addition, now in this model, the hydrophobic portion of the protein is on the inside, away from the water. This is a stable configuration. The proteins are also able to move laterally within the cell membrane. This is why it's called the fluid mosaic model. 